Hello, welcome to Motivational Mondays. And we are going to take a look at what's going on for the collective, especially in regard this Uranus-Jupiter conjunction that's coming up on the 20th. So what do the cards want to tell us for everyone about this Jupiter-Uranus conjunction? Underside of the deck. Ooh, come on, let go. Valiant courage, take, take action with passion. Upper part of the deck. First light, beginning a new cycle. I think this is definitely um, what's going to be happening. This is a brand new cycle. We have so many new cycles um, going on with the um, Mars and Saturn and Mars and Neptune and Jupiter and Uranus. So we have all of these, um, some of them are two year transits and some of them are a lot longer. So you have a Jupiter and Uranus would be a 14 year uh, transit. So it's, it's starting a new cycle and they're, they're very long cycles. So it's more about the planning that you're going to be able to be, to be utilizing and begin now, take your first step. And really the message that I'm getting along with this is it's take baby steps one step at a time. You don't have to take giant leaps. We have time. We have time. So what I want to use is the Light Sears Tarot. And I I got a I got a brand new Light Sears tech because Light Sears deck because the one that I had been using was getting really tired and it was like, you know, I need a break. Let me let me uh, rest. But it's such a wonderful deck. And I feel like there's such amazing messages that come through that I'm like, okay, I'll give you a right, I'll give you a rest and I'll just get a brand new deck out. The younger version, the younger version, same great messages, same great messages. So for the collective, Uranus, Jupiter. Oh, wait, want me to shuffle a little bit more. Uranus, Jupiter for the collective. Okay. Now it's ready. You know, sometimes you just have to go like, oh, it's not ready yet. Ah, justice, justice. And what you do now, this is her in the future. The decisions you make today, are you gonna be happy with yourself in the future with the decisions that you make today? Very true. Ah, first card out on the top of the deck, queen of cups, queen of cups, that higher connection, really being true to yourself. The queen of cups is all about intuition. As you can see, she's, um, she's in the water, but that's not where her focus is. And she seems perfectly happy and content. She's making that higher connection. Beautiful energy. Two of wands. This is this is like getting ready for travel. This is knowing that you know there is such the world is out there. She's got she's got the world at her feet. She's got um, any number of choices that she can make. It's it's so unlimited. The choices are unlimited. So she's planning. What am I going to do in the future? And I always feel like there's always travel um, involved with the two of wands because she's definitely, she she hasn't set her foot out the door yet, but she's making the plan. She's definitely making that plan. Ah, Knight of Cups. And isn't that a romantic thing? I was just noticing this beautiful picnic that's got, that he's got going on. You know, a lovely bottle of wine outside flowers gorgeous gorgeous emotion just reveling in the moment right perfect like like it and six of swords moving out of troubled waters this is not letting our thoughts take over right it's making sure that we are setting intention about 
what our future path is going to be. And it is going to move you into, you know, everyone else can be worry, worry, worry. But if you make a plan and set an intention, and right now the opportunities are perfect for that going on right now, I think everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Queen of Wands. This is someone who, when they make a decision, they have the spark. This is what they're focusing on. This is what matters to them. Now, look at all the lights that are around her. You know, they're supporting that spark. So I think you have to remember that, you know, you can focus. And where you have your focus is where the magic happens. Eight of Cups. This is a lot of times a card of ascension. It's moving on to a better place. And you'll notice she doesn't have to take anything much with her. It's, you know what? I think I'm good. I have learned a lot, but I'm ready to move on. And I'm feeling free. I'm feeling so much freer. She's moving into the sunrise. It's a new day. New things are beginning. Um, I think that is that energy that we're getting where, you know, Uranus is such a strong, unpredictable energy and Jupiter is the benefic. So it expands. And there's so many things that are, we're just on the verge of discovering. There's so many things that te technologically are going to be brand new and we can work with those things to our benefit. Take what you want and leave the rest. You don't have to have every new gadget. You don't have to have every new invention. You choose what you want. You don't have to um, sign up for every possible channel in the universe that, that is out there. Pick and choose the news that you want. Ooh, King of Wands, divine counterpart to the Queen of Wands. You know, and the Queen of Wands was the center of the reading. What matters here? And he's supportive of that. He's supportive of that. Giving something time to grow. This is part of that Mars, um, Saturn, where we're setting the intention. And then we have a time in which we need to allow things to develop at their own pace. It's not about now. I don't need the result right now. The result won't be right now. The result is out there in the future. But we have to do things now to take care of it, to help it move forward. I love that energy. Page of Pentacles. You decide. You decide what you want to do. You decide where your focus is. You decide what's important. You decide what tools you want to use. And where you want to go and what you want to do. Who's important to you? So I love this energy. What can we do to help ourselves moving forward? Now, remember, we had justice at the bottom of the deck. So um, on the underside, and to me, it's you are responsible for the choices that you make. You are responsible for the choices that you make. And they will come back. So are you going to be happy with the choices that you make? Are you going to be proud of the choices that you make? This is huge. And I don't think that um, we don't, you shouldn't take during this time, the decisions that you make are important. Don't take them lightly. You have to also be true to yourself but we're all part of this earth, right? We are all part of what's going on here. And we have to realize that, you know, we're not responsible sometimes for just ourselves. That's the Aquarius part. Aquarius encourages you to be an individual. This is why Pluto moved into Aquarius to emphasize that. But it's also about what we bring to the collective. We're not here by ourselves. There's not just one person on this planet. We have to work together. 
So I want to just pull, ooh, <laughs> three cards about what we should be doing. And guess what? Immediately, I had some volunteers. Working together. Is it going to go smoothly? No. But they're definitely trying. Keep trying. And you will get results. There's a lot of fear out there. Don't give in to the fear. Don't feed that wolf. Don't. I love the energy of water. And whenever someone looks at this card, it's like, oh, well, you know, that can be fear and, you know, over emotioning, over emotional feelings. And I'm like, you know what? I love the energy that the moon brings because it's always the same, but its phases look like it's changing. So it can be a multitude of things to different people. It's the wolf that you feed. Oh no, what are other people going to say? What are they going to think? What, what decision should I make? Who's making the decision? You are. And you have justice on the underside of the deck. Be proud of the decisions that you make. This is stuck energy. Holding that last pentacle in. You know, I, I have enough, but do I have anything that I, I want to share with others? I'm very stuck in my energy. Mm, no. No. This is her village that she's nearby. And I always think that your local community, they're there to support each other. I'm from a small town. And we each have our own strengths. Don't have the stuck energy. If everybody's willing to open up, there's enough for everybody. And the last card, the last card that came out of that little grouping, the fool. This is a new journey. It is so beautiful. And you don't need to take much with you. There'll be things along your way. You'll be provided for. Do it without fear. That's the important thing here. It's, it's a brand new journey that we're going into. But you shouldn't look at it with fear. So think about the decisions that you're making. Let's take a look. I really want to look from the Shaman Stream Oracle. This is Colette Baron reed deck. I want to volunteer. You've been, the cards have been just jumping amazingly. So I'm trusting that we are going to get one that comes out that is supposed to be a message for all of us. I adore this deck. And, oh, okay. I guess, I guess the top one wanted to be <laughs> Sky Dancers, Surrender. I just want to make sure you see the beauty beauty of this card okay 48 sky dancers oh my goodness that's gonna fight me okay here we go liberation from attachment Surrender. When a sky dancer appears, she is inviting you to welcome the deepest power of the feminine into your life. You have already overanalyzed your situation to exhaustion. Now is the time to invite the sacred feminine, the wisdom within your heart, no matter your gender, to guide you to success. If you have become earthbound, plotting and planning and praying for change, cease and desist. Break the habit of being yourself, of repeating the same behavior and hoping for a different outcome. Stop trying to figure it all out and stop overthinking it. 
surrender. The sky dancers are heralding the arrival of a new relationship with yourself, in your work, or in your love life. Do not assume that this person or opportunity will rescue you. Only The only way to liberation is to kiss the ground goodbye and take flight. To rise above the fray and the drama of the struggling, arguing mind. Dance in the sky and view the madness below. By simply witnessing the actors and the human comedy unfolding on the ground, you are transforming it. As you observe the drama, you unleash the power of the sacred feminine that allows for resolution. The sky dancers know the maps of heaven and the way to the holiest and most sacred spaces on earth. They come to help you with your current life and even more important, to guide you to the realization of your own divinity. Thank you so much. And know that it's justice and we're starting a new course. Make wise decisions. Thank you for watching. Bye.